Uh, we have a large show coming on, which has antique tractors that have been restored. We also have a tractor pull of the older tractors being come up, and we have a lot of people coming up for that. And you've done this before, not your first rodeo, so to speak. No, we have not the first rodeo. We started this uh, 18 years ago. The first four years or so was strictly with the, uh, uh, the antique tractor show. But we then in, added in a new club called the Shared Old Time Tractor Pullers. And they are the pullers, and we've combined the two, and we've been doing it now for 18 years. And uh, in addition to the tractor pull, which starts off at 11 a.m. on the... the uh, May 18th, then there's food kicking off at noon. Oh yeah, we, we have, it's a, like I said, a family affair. We want you and the kids and all your family to come out to make an enjoyable day. It's a family idea and see the tractor pull and the antique tractors. We have popcorn and soda pop and hot dogs. It's all free to the public and, and we want everybody to come out and have a wonderful time and see this old equipment that, that had been run for years back they go clear back to 1928 through 60 and and you're going to see some really beautifully restored ones as well as pullers so the oldest pulling tractor is 28 and then there's some show tractors the oldest of which is 1918 if they show up we got them it might be some of those here plus something i failed to mention it's not just tractors we have some of the oldest caterpillars we have road graders that were horse drawn and other exciting things to see that falls in with the category of the tractor pull. And you get how many recipient or how many participants from how many states? Well, we cover about four or five states and that and they come by. Uh, last year we had 129 puller tractors come in and about 50 show tractors. So it adds up each year is a little different and each year we see new ones and each year we see different ones of names of tractors like Gamble Store, like Cuck Shot, uh, and then we have the standard ones, International, Alice Chalmers, John Deere. You never know what names are going to be on, so it's really something to see. Hey, I had an invite to come out last year, a personal invite from one of the Coltiscas, and I am here to tell you I have never seen anything like this in my life. I'm sorry to say I, you haven't lived till you've seen this. Now, the sled these tractors pull is specially designed that it gets harder and harder to pull until finally they're throwing rooster tails out behind them and everything else. Yeah, yes, that's true. The sled was made by the Mullers, uh, Slick and Freddie Muller. That's been built by it. And it's been, it's one of the best ones in the state. It's a real easy pulling sled as far as the tractor is concerned, but it gets harder and harder. So it isn't too long before they come to a sudden halt from the, uh, the power that it takes to pull them. Well, Bob, I look forward to seeing you and all the folks from Sheridan out here at uh, C&K Equipment at the intersection of uh, Brundage and the interstate and the Sheridan Commercial Park kicking off on Saturday, May 18th at 11 a.m. until 4 or 5 p.m., maybe a little bit later, depending on how many folks show up. That is very correct. We just keep going to the last puller that come a long way gets to pull. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Bob. You bet. I'm pleased that you came up very much, so thank you.